Hello YouTube fans, this is The Skull Clown. Let me fix this camera here. Um, yesterday, Monday Night Raw, um, well obviously when this video is uploaded it won't be yesterday, but, um, Jerry the King Lawler, um, basically he had a heart attack, he fell down, of, he, he was announced, he fell down of his chair and he, well, the announce table was at, he, he fell right there and he had a heart attack, and ever since that right there, the whole gall was completely quiet, and I never seen a gall, literally an episode that was completely quiet, and, and, I mean, hopefully, sorry guys, hopefully Jerry the King Lawler is okay, and hopefully he comes back for this, and, I mean, I don't, um, I don't think this is WWE's fault, I mean, obviously they will have to, ch obviously, I mean, if they're gonna have to put a legend in the ring to fight, they're gonna have to check his medical records, his, e everything, obviously, um, and, I mean, for the f past few weeks, Jerry the King Lawler was okay, he fought in the ring, and then all of a sudden he had a heart attack, it was like, Wow, you know, don't take life for granted, basically, you know. And did I almost cry? Yes, I actually did almost cry because I didn't want him to, like, I don't want him to die, really? Come on, guys, really? And he he's one of my favorite wrestlers also. I mean, he's, he's awesome. And when he's cocky, he's good when he's cocky. Literally, he's just good when he's cocky. And he's hilarious when he's cocky, too. Um... I mean, probably you guys can say that, oh, you're crybaby or something, but, <laughs> you know what, okay, fine, C call me a crybaby, I mean, did you cry when Eddie died? Yeah. Everybody did. Everybody did. Maybe some of you guys didn't, probably you guys were like, damn, man, like, I, I know some people were like, yeah, I know, it, it, it was, I know, I, I know I cried when I heard Eddie g died, I was literally bursting into tears, I couldn't even stop crying for, like, for, Wow, I mean, when I first, when I saw God, I cried through the whole, I cried when they were showing them people that were talking about Eddie and everything, then people were saying, I can't believe he's gone, and I started crying too, then on Smackdown, I saw the same, and then on Smackdown, I saw the same thing, Batista's crying and everything, so yeah, it was basically like that, but Jerry the King Lawler, uh, um, hope he's gonna be okay, um, hopefully he... Hopefully he can. I hope. I really hope he feels very well and comes back to be an announcer because he's a great announcer. He's a great fighter, and for a, I don't know how old he is, but I mean he doesn't look that old. Um, he doesn't look that old to me, but he could be. He could be like up there too, but who knows? I mean, I, probably you guys know, but I don't know because I don't know how old he is. But hopefully Jerry the King Lawler feels okay, and I just hope he comes back um, this Sunday to do announce. Oh, we might find out what happens on SmackDown. If we find out what happens on SmackDown, if he comes back for this, I hope he does. Hopefully he does, and I really hope he does actually, because he he's he's a great. And hopefully we see Jerry the King Lawler this Sunday. Um, I hope he feels great, and I hope he gets better. This is the Skull Clown signing off. Have a good day, and join me on Facebook as Giovanni Velasquez, and Twitter as Actor Skull Clown.